Once again, the open source community reigns victorious in the constant battle of the corporate landscape to commodify and profitize every single aspect of art. With AI assisted tools popping up everywhere from Adobe Firefly, GitHub Copilot, and Microsoft Power Suite, it was only a matter of time before we saw a direct application with Blender. And luckily, 19 year old Twitter user GD3KR has already gone ahead and implemented ChatGPT into Blender in a free plugin called Blender GPT. There are a few requirements for running this plugin, the most notable being an open API key. You do need an account with OpenAI and you will be charged for the tokens that you generate inside of Blender. The good news is the pricing for these tokens is extremely affordable. In the demonstrations that I used for this video, I was only charged one penny for the amount of work that I did. And that's because it costs a fraction of a penny for every 1,000 tokens that are sent. If we look at the tokens I used during the video, we can see it is 6,355 tokens, which is about one penny's worth of credits. Now you might be wondering, how do you get a API key through OpenAI? To get your own API key from OpenAI, all you need to do is head to platform.openai.com and make it account. And then from there, you can generate a free API key. However, you are going to see failed requests until you set up some sort of billing. After you set up a payment method, there is a usage limit section inside of the account settings. For me, I set up a hard limit of $30, which means if I send $30 worth of requests within a month, then it'll immediately stop sending any requests. And then I set a soft limit, which means if I send $25 worth of requests, I'll be notified so I know that I'm almost out of credits. But like I mentioned, these tokens are extremely cheap, especially if you're using GPT 3.5. So to actually use my entire $25 limit would be around 10,000 or so requests. Once you have your own OpenAI key, all you need to do is download the Blender GPT add-on from the GitHub. Once the zip is downloaded, go into Blender, go to Preferences, Install, and then guide it to the download. Once you install it, make sure you enter the API key that you got from OpenAI right here in this API key section. If you go to try it out and it says that you've reached a quota or a limit, that means that you did not set up the API key correctly or you do not have any billing information on your page. I'm super excited for the future of this plugin because eventually we should be able to use a smaller language model like Alpaca or Llama that's trained specifically on the Blender coding model and we'll be able to understand our requests even easier and it will also be using our local machine. So I'm gonna be keeping our eye on that. So instead of having to constantly talk to OpenAI's API, we'll be able to directly run on our own machine a large language model and communicate with Blender that way. The demonstration of this add-on is even more powerful because they use ChatGPT4, which I currently do not have access with with my API key. Let me know what plans you guys have with using this in the future and if you wanna see more videos on ChatGPT and other ways to implement AI into Blender. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe and like for more. Thank you guys so much for watching, so much love and peace.